Yes. You here for a checkup? Okay. Thank you for your paperwork. All right, let's get started. Uh, my name is Dr. Chase, if you don't know who I am. I'm the main doctor here in this building. Um, it says here on your paperwork that you need a nerve exam. It says you wanna test your eyes. You wanna get your blood pressure taken, your heartbeat taken. You checked, know that you don't wanna get your hearing checked. Is that correct? Okay, is there a reason for that? Okay, you just got your hearing checked the other day. Okay. Well, I guess we won't check your hearing, but everything else it looks like we can do. And yeah, so just have a seat right there. Um, I'm gonna start off by just listening to your heartbeat real quick. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna end up touching you. I'm gonna put this on your chest and on your stomach to listen to your heartbeat and your breathing. And then I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna also do it to your back, okay? It's gonna be a little cold, but it's all right. So, do I have permission to touch you? Okay, good, let's get started. So what I want you to do is breathe in for me. you do that? Okay. Alright, do it. Okay, good. Hand over here. Good. Alright, and right here. Good job. Now, um, I'm either flip up you flip up I'm either lift up your shirt from the back and same thing, same breathe. Big breath in, big breath out, okay? Okay, so, breathe in for me. And out. Okay, over here, breathe in for me. Okay, now breathe out. Okay, and last one right here. Breathe in for me. Okay, good. Your heartbeat is not irregular. It is completely normal. So that's one thing we can check off your paperwork. If your heartbeat is fine. Now, would you rather do your blood pressure next or would you rather do your eyes next? Okay, you wanna save your eyes for last? Okay. All right, well then let's get started with your blood pressure. Pretty sure you've done this a thousand times. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this thing around your arm and then I'm going to squeeze it while I read the gauge, okay? Yeah, pretty simple. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to love going to Walmart and going to the thing that squeezed my arm. Can you give me your arm, please? All right, there we go. All right. Don't try to flex, please. It'll just ruin the reading. Okay, you ready? Okay. If it gets too tight, let me know. Few more pounds. All right. Well, it looks like your blood pressure is also in range of normal, so don't have to worry about your blood pressure either. Why was it that you wanted to come in today for a check? Yeah, just to make sure. I understand. 
I, I get it. I, I understand. Alright, so now that your heart rate or your heartbeat is checked, your blood pressure is checked, now we are going to move on to your eyeballs, okay? Yeah, we're just going to do your eyes. Um, and that's probably about all that we're going to do since you didn't want to do the hearing. Okay, so we're going to do your eyes. Um, before we do your eyes, though, are you feeling any soreness or aching around the jaw area in your mouth, your teeth, or anything? No, not really. Can you open your mouth for me real fast? Just big and wide. Okay. Now, can you lean your head up while you open your mouth? Hi, huh? So it doesn't look like you have any cavities. Obviously, I'm not a dentist, but it doesn't look like you have any cavities. It doesn't look like your jaw is out of placement either. Okay, it looks like everything's fine. And you said you haven't had any aches or pains, right? Okay, I just want to make sure. I don't want to just do your eyes and we're not worried about any other thing. Uh, what about your, what about your smell? Is your smell okay? You assume? I guess it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see, can you... So, gloves have a certain distinct smell, right? Can you smell this? You can? Okay. Alright, so you, you don't need to work on your smell either, right? Okay. Better safe than sorry. Okay, well, now we're gonna work on your eyes. Um, this is be pretty simple, pretty standard. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, at first, I'm gonna get you to follow my finger around, and then I'm gonna get you to do the same thing, but while I shine a light in your eye, um, and I want to see how your eyes react to the light. Um, and then we're going to do a near or far-sighted test. So I'm gonna come up close to you, I'm gonna want you to read these, and then I'm gonna stand up back here and I'm gonna want you to read from different lines, okay? It's pretty simple. Okay, you ready? All right, well, I'm gonna take this off, okay? And what I want you to do is, I'm actually gonna get you to follow this Sharpie marker, okay? Be a little easier than just following my finger. It'll be a little different because I'm probably gonna spin it and stuff, okay? So look, right now, with both your eyes, follow this, okay? So just follow this marker. Even as it tilts, turns, I want you to follow the marker. Follow the marker. Even when it goes out, try to predict where it's gonna come back in, okay? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my hand over this eye and I want you to still follow the marker with the other eye, okay? I want to see if you're predominantly stronger in one eye than you are the other eye. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cover up this eye, okay? And I want you to follow Follow the marker. Okay, good. It seems like nothing is out of the ordinary, but just to be safe, I'm going to shine this light. It's a little bright, okay? I'm going to shine it in your eye, like that. Try not to blink. Okay, and I just want to see how your pupils react to the light, okay? whether they dilate or whether they don't, okay? So just bear with me. It's gonna be a little bright. And just try to keep your eyes open, okay? Okay, just, yeah. I'm just gonna scan it across, just try to keep your eyes open. Try not to blink, okay? Try not to blink. Okay. I'm gonna come in from up here. 
Okay. And then from down here. Okay, it looks like your eyes dilate perfectly fine with the light. All right, so now the only thing we have left to do is we're gonna do the near and far-sighted test, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it up close at first. I'm gonna to point to a line and you try to tell me, excuse me, you try to tell me what each letter is in that line, okay? So right now we're gonna start above this green line. Hopefully you're not colorblind, because then I don't believe it will be green. So, or is that why they have red and green? Because you can see that if you're colorblind. Anyways, I want you to read to me the letters on this line, starting from this side to this side. So go ahead. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, good. So it seems like you can read from pretty close up. Now I'm gonna take a step back, okay? It's gonna make it a little harder, but that's okay. We're going to start with the line under the green, okay? And so can you read me, this time I'm just gonna to point to a letter and you read me the letter. You don't have to read me the line, you read me the letter. What is this? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna make it a little harder. I'm gonna go down here and pick one out, okay? All right. Okay, and what about this first one right here? Are you sure? Alright, well, it does seem that you struggle a little bit, just a little bit, of seeing from a distance, but that's okay, that's completely normal. Um, I would recommend the older you get to maybe get some glasses for distance and not for a close, not for reading or anything, seems like you read pretty well, um, just mainly for distance so you don't have to, like your eyes don't have to strain to see something from afar, okay? That's just my professional opinion. But is there anything else I could help you with today? Anything else you want to look over? Okay, how are your pressure points? Do you have feeling in all the all your limbs, your joints, you have any joint pains? That that you can remember? <laughs> okay, how's your diet? Could be better? Okay, well how about we try to make that a little better? Let's implement some fruits and vegetables, some meat. You can still eat out, you can still eat junk food. Just tone it down a bit, okay? Okay, and what about your activity? Are you pretty active? Your job requires you to sit at a desk for like six to eight hours a day? Okay, well, I would recommend, personally, I would recommend that after you work, um, either go to the gym Go for a walk, or even just try to play basketball. Be active as much as possible. Because I know you probably go home and you probably just sit on the couch watch TV. Because you want to relax. And I get it, I understand. But your body will thank you in the future if you take action now and not wait until your body starts having problems in the future, okay? So take action tomorrow, all right? Okay, that's just my opinion. Um, I didn't want to wait until I was hurting to try to make a difference. So I work 12 hour shifts here at the hospital. And when I get off, go go to the gym for an hour and a half. Yeah, not every day, but three, four times a week just to stay active even though I'm moving and I'm up all the time here at the hospital, I still wouldn't be as smooth, as healthy as I possibly can be. Okay, well, if that will be it for you today, I hope you have a great day. Hopefully, you take my advice and you start living a healthier lifestyle. And 
Hopefully I don't have to see you for a while, but I would say come back in maybe about two, three months for a checkup to see how things are going. Okay, it was nice meeting you today, and I hope you have a great day, okay? Bye.